Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Redtail Ray. I wanted to show you guys these new things I just got. <clears throat> it's my birthday weekend. I just received these as a gift and I'm super excited because my last binoculars were just garbage. Um, I think, I don't even remember if I got them at a garage sale or if I bought them at a Gander Mountain or something way back in the day. But the rings eventually, you know, popped out of the, the front lenses and they're falling apart. One of the, one of the tubes wouldn't focus anymore and it dropped and stuff and kicked around by the kids so it's time to upgrade um, but wasn't really planning on it until we are going to have a road trip here coming up and that road trip got cancelled so that uh, item on the wish list wasn't going to happen anyways um, especially here no, we're middle, of no! June. middle of June and kind of just hanging out excuse the dogs uh, neighbors are out in the backyard with their dogs so Dogs are going to go crazy. Uh, we're watching uh, one of my buddy's uh, dogs right now anyways. Let's see what we get. Remy, come here. Remy. Let me say hi. Yeah. Is that black lab crazy? Where's that black lab? There he is. Mac. Quit barking. Anyways. Oh, let's get back out. Alright, so. These are the Bushnell... Engage EDXs, and again, I just received these as a gift, as a birthday present from a wonderful friend um, and a mentor in the hunting and shooting community. So, super excited because this was his personal choice. Um, didn't go with the eight x forty-two or uh, the eight x fifty or the twelve x fifty. He went with the ten x fifty because it keeps the um, size of the frame relatively small. Um, so they got magnesium frame. Uh, or magnesium body, whatever you call it. I'm not sure that's gonna be too big here. I'll zoom back out. There we go. And the box slides out nice like that. You get a really nice big lens cloth. Uh, it's actually a bag in itself, which is kind of neat. Um, your info paperwork. I'm gonna show you guys here that quick. They say XO barrier. you got here lead free glass ultra wide band coating ed prime glass multi coated optics prism phase dielectric prism coatings um, a locking diopter that you can adjust there's a diagram of um, uh, light capacity light uh, keeping capacity um, so it's really cool to receive this as a gift especially from somebody who's so big in the hunting community um, bird hunts, deer hunts. Here's a picture of the back of the box. And again, these are the 10 by 50s, and I hadn't seen. Oh, my box is ripped. Oh no. Um, I hadn't seen any videos. I've seen some, maybe one or two videos on the 8 by 42s, and another video on the 12 by 50s. Um, and even that was about three years ago. So maybe they're not brand new to the market. Maybe they're not uh, the latest, hottest thing. You know, Vortex has been popping stuff out. The last couple of years like hotcakes um, but Bushnell you know they're, they've been making rice rifle scopes for decades and these things are just nice man they're so nice um, the dial is nice the rubber coating is really hard and durable I don't feel like air bubbles or anything sliding around in there um, compared to old, older binocular sets that I've had instead of the caps or a double cap that fits over both of the front lenses these actually have caps that snap in um, to the front lenses, so that's kind of nice. You can just pop them down and they hang on. You can remove them if you want. They just got rings that kind of go around the outside. Um, nice lens coating. I'm not sure if that's going to show up all that well, but um, done really well, Bushnell. Uh, and just excited all around to have something to be able to reach out and uh, see a little bit better. Um, same with the back. Get that snapped into place. I'll get an air bubble in there same with the back um, we've got this one is attached with the you know the little um, strappy deal to keep them locked together instead of two individual pieces but then this side actually breaks free of your neck lanyard which is really nice so then it'll just hang there by one side instead of uh, both sides and be all tangly you can see kind of the coating or that um, reddish orange tint to those I'll focus on the house um, those rear lenses and I'm not sure 
let's give her a shot here. I'm not sure which camera is going to work out here. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a bad idea. Anyways, it's worth a shot to look through it. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up or not anyways, but probably not. Anyways, just trust me that uh, if you're looking at these, they're going to be worth the money. I know they seem a little more expensive than uh, the Chinese glass and prism made vortexes with their lifetime warranty, but when a guy who has the background and such that um, cannot compare to any other of the professionals out there that you know in your life hands you a set of these and says happy birthday, you do a little bit of digging and research into how they're made, why they're made that way, why the company Bushnell decided to go that way, and um, you say thank you very much and would you like some birthday cake? Um, and I'm very impressed. I'm very happy, very thankful and grateful and blessed that I know such awesome people in my life. But So yeah, these are super cool. Very excited to hang out in the backyard and uh, do a little bit of bird watching. Um, come hunting season, these are going to be utilized quite a bit. Um, and then uh, a couple other things I have planned uh, coming up too. Like I said, that road trip was canceled. We're not going out to all the major national parks anymore. Yellowstone, Yosemite, uh, Grand Tetons, any of that stuff. We would be out there actually right now in South Lake Tahoe visiting family. Um, but we're not doing that. But anyways, these showed up. So um, very, very impressed. Really nice, high quality. And uh, the one thing I probably will add is going to be that um, right in here is a, oh, there we go. Right in the middle here, there's a tripod adapter that you can add to it just for stability and stuff. So I might grab that eventually. I don't have one right now on Bushnell's website. I think they're like 25 bucks. Um, yeah, so there you go. I will uh, leave you guys at that. Hopefully a short enough, sweet enough video. And of course, there's a couple other videos on, uh, even from Bushnell, on how's these, how these things and why these things are made the way they are. And uh, just a quick video on the actual 10 by 50s because there's uh, no other videos out there on it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.